Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. I just want to give you a little bit of an update on KE9NS uh, at KE9NS.com. I'll put that link in the description of the video just to help you along there. Anyway, this is a uh, ham radio operator, as you may or may not know, that has been spending many months now revising the original Power SDR software for the Flex Radio. Uh, his software works on the uh, older model Flex 5000, 3000, and 1500. And he's added a multitude of new features to the software that did not exist in the uh, last version that Flex released uh, almost two years ago now. So, as I've said before, he's given me a brand new radio again many times now. Uh, if you go to his site at ke9ns.com, and uh, look up at the top of the page and you'll see a little link that says Flex 5000. Click that and you'll go to his page that's dedicated to the revision software that he's written. Uh, if you do decide to run his software, remember what I said, you need to go back to his site about once a week because he continues to upgrade the software. It's not now in revi revision T10, T10. And uh, on, I'm gonna switch over in a minute to the screen and kind of show you that page. But it's real important if you're running the software that you check back with him very frequently because he is really working on this software. And, Usually not one or two weeks uh, go by that he hadn't, um, you know, added some new feature to Power SDR. Well, how do you catch up? If, if you, this is the first time you've ever heard about this and you're running a Flex radio, one of the older ones, like I am, I'm running a Flex 3000. You're just hearing about this. How do you figure out what he's done so far? Well, you go to this page that I'm going to show you and just scroll down and you'll come across a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, you need to start at the bottom, not at the first one that you see, but the last one you see and work your way up. And he's fully documented all the changes he, he's made. Uh, using a YouTube video. So if you start at the bottom and work your way up, uh, by the time you get to the top, you'll know uh, all about his videos. So let's uh, take a minute here. I'll switch over to the screen and kind of show you that site and make a few comments uh, while I'm kind of scrolling down the site. So hang on for just a second. Whoops. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're looking at KE9NS's uh, page. Now remember, if you don't come to this page, just uh, and you wind up at his regular site, just click this Flex 5000 button right at the top of the page. It'll take you right here. So as you can see, He's on revision T10 right now. Let's kind of scroll down the page a little bit. You can read this stuff later. Here's the link that you click to download the software. So it's pretty prominent right there. I don't think you can miss it. And his latest version is dated uh, at this video anyway, uh, September 20th. 2016. He puts the date uh, in the description that of his last revision. So you can always tell just by looking right here if you've got the latest revision or not. Now if you continue to scroll down a little bit, you're going to see there's an installation video right here. I'd encourage you just to watch that, but it's 
very, very simple. You simply download the software, uh, you know, double click. Uh, well, you're going to have to expand it out. It's compressed. So you're going to have to right click it and choose expand. And once it's uh, taken the zip file and expanded it, uh, you should see the executable uh, ready for you to click. And once you uh, double click that executable, uh, it will go through a little gyration and install itself automatically and leave you with an, a brand new icon on the desktop uh, where you can run the software from that icon. It's good to note that he does not mess around with your original Power SDR software. It's still there and the icon is still there wherever you manage to put it and uh, it works just fine. Uh, his revisions do not alter the original software that you have on your machine. So let's continue to scroll down this screen where I usually go first uh, is to this little spot here where he's got the revision history. So let's kind of click that. It actually takes you down the page further. But you can look up in here and see his latest revision. So right now I'm running this one that's dated 914, and he just came out with one uh, on September the 20th. So I'm one little revision behind, but as he says in the description, he's still working on this feature, this new feature, and it's a, uh, it's not really ready for prime time. So I'm gonna probably wait a week or two and he'll have another statement on this page about he's corrected any errors and it's ready to go. So I'll probably wait a week or two before I actually install the one that's dated September the 20th. Give them a chance to play with it a little bit. But you can go through all the revision history here. And uh, this is where he tells you what he's doing to the software at the current time. Let's go back up to the top of the page now. And uh, here's where we were on that revision history. Let's kind of scroll down. Now you're running into his YouTube videos. But like I said, don't start with this first one. Keep on going down and start with the last one right here. Okay? You might not want to see the installer video. It's very simple. I don't know that you need to be taught how to install a piece of software if you've used a computer at all. Uh, pretty typical installation process. Uh, anyway, the next one says uh, revision P2, P2. And that was really one of his first revisions he ever did uh, back several months ago. And so I would start right here and work my way up the videos and just watch them. And he demonstrates the new features. Now, some of these features are only available on the Flex 5000 that has dual uh, VFO receivers. My 3000 does not have dual receivers. It really makes no difference in the operation of the software. If he talks about a feature for the 5000, uh, especially having to do with uh, dual receivers, well, that feature won't be there on your Flex 3000 or Flex 1500. No big deal. The same software runs on all three radios. Uh, anyway, you can go through these. I think you're going to be amazed at what he's done to this software from uh, the original last version that Flex Radio published. I think he's going to blow your mind. Now, if you want to learn about Flex Radios, this is the same page you need to go to. 
This is a big website page. And I'm scrolling down kind of quick, but he has every feature of the original software uh, documented. And you can read all about it, how to set the radio up, you know, how to do uh, uh, COM port management and uh, the virtual audio cables and just a world of setup information on the Flex Radio. I would say this is probably more information and more detail than even the Flex uh, website troubleshooting uh, wizard there they've got on their site. This, his site probably has more uh, useful information readily available to read about than virtually any other place I've ever seen on the internet and regarding flex radios. So you can learn everything about a flex radio just by going to this one page and it's going to take you a day or two to scroll to, through it, but uh, uh, you'll, you'll know more than 99% of the Flex Radio users if you understand his page fully. Anyway, this is where you get the software. Uh, KE9NS.com KE9NS.com Again, if you don't, if you're Googling that, Sometimes you'll go directly to this page. Sometimes you'll wind up at his original page. <clears throat> Let's see if I can show that to you. Here it is right here. This is the main home page for KE9NS. And you're going to say, well, yeah, I see his shack and all that stuff, but I don't see any software. Well, what you got to do is come right up here where it says Flex 5000 and click it. And you'll go right to his uh, uh, revision software page. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Let me kind of switch y'all back to my smiling face here. And wish y'all clear skies in 73. And get yourself a flex radio. I'm telling you, the best deal in SDR radio right now is you can buy a used Flex 3000, which is a 100-watt radio, for about $900. I see them all over the place for that much. And that puts it in the range of uh, many, many regular analog-type radios. <clears throat> and remember, it can be fixed by simply sending it to Austin, Texas. So especially if you're in Texas, uh, getting a flex radio fixed is really no big deal. Mine is uh, almost, it's three years old now. And I have not had one bit of problem with it. Uh, and use it just about every day. Uh, and use it with an amplifier. So no problems for Joe. Uh, our telescope man with this radio. There it is right down here. And uh, so I can highly recommend it to you. Even as a used radio that's being sold right now at a great price because they came out with the 6000 series of Flex Radio. So if you go to the Flex Radio site, you're going to see the 6000 series. But and those series do not run Power SDR. They run another software package called Smart SDR, uh, which is not as mature as the software for this radio. They're still fooling with it a little bit. So uh, I know some of my ham buddies uh, have come over and seen what he has done to this radio, what KE9NS has done to the software, and they are amazed at the little tricks that this radio um, can do that their brand new Flex 6000 cannot do. So with that said, clear skies, 73. Y'all be good 
and I hope you enjoyed this little short video. See you all later.